Hardly two years in the Premier's office, Dr. Majoro is already being pushed. Squabbles in the ruling senior party in the coalition ABC has led to a split, leaving the biggest coalition member vulnerable. Well, basically, the, 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 there are two issues here. Firstly, um, the proposals of the motion of no confidence did bring this before the Speaker, and the Speaker considered this in relation to the provisions of the Constitution as well as that of the standing order. And he found that it is in order. Uh, that is the motion itself on vote of no confidence. And this being the case, then it is awaiting uh, for the motion to be now sent to the business committee to set a date. But the members of the house are not happy and accuse the speaker of shielding the prime minister by denying them a right to use a secret ballot. Uh, the confusion was that people were saying maybe for the speaker and the deputy speaker they are usually elected by secret uh, ballot. That is provided for in the standing orders. But their removal is not provided for. Hence the speaker then, formally with the former deputy speaker, had to now, because he has the power to amend uh, the standing orders where there's no provision. So in this particular situation then, he said, no, in this situation the best uh, body to deal with this particular motion is the standing orders committee. So in, in essence, he's saying that the vote of no confidence is going to come via the business committee in setting out the date, but the issue of secret ballot is, does not exist. In other words, it's still going to be by open ballot. On a lighter moment, National Assembly has received an additional member filling a vacancy left by the resignation of Basutu National Party, Mr. Tesila Masiribani, who will be taking up a diplomatic post in Italy. This young and vibrant member wants to hit the ground running. I remember that uh, this, there is this thing of the, the, uh, the, the broad-based preferential procurement for program for the, for the young people that they must be included of the 25%. It's enshrined in the, in, the, in, the, in the policy. So I'm here to push that. I'm here to, to ensure that it is executed. On a scale of 1 to 10, how happy are you? Hundred percent, ten over oh, ten. So, I'm so excited that we're welcoming uh, Honourable Sudradi to the House, because uh, that says the number of women in Parliament has just increased by one, and that is a significant number. Well, and, and this is where we see the power of the PR system, because um, the person that has just uh, vacated the seat, Honorable Tisile Masribani, we know that he was male, but now the, the, the zebra model allows for a woman to come in. She's young, she's vibrant, she has been an active member in politics for quite a long time, and for her to be part of us in this house, that says there are going to be so many changes, We're going, we, we expect to see a lot of changes regarding women, youth issues, etc. Well, Lesotho is again flexing its muscles in when it comes to democracy. The Speaker has allowed that the motion of no confidence against the Prime Minister can actually continue. It is now up to the business committee to determine uh, as to whether that particular motion will be tabled when its agency into Parliament. But when it comes to the issue of the secret ballot, there is still more debates that needs to take place as to whether it can actually be used against him. Rappelang Khatebe, SABC News, Masekolo Sur.